Well, hello everybody. Um, coming at you from the boat today. Unfortunately, between my health issues and all the things that we've been up to, Laura's been busy with the clinic, we've been house sitting, we bought a house, we moved into the house nine months ago after 34 years of living right here on this little boat. And uh, I have to say I'm having a little bit of trouble getting adjusted to living in a house. I don't think that's surprising to anyone. Um, the bottom line though, why I'm here today, is that the boat has just been sadly neglected for at least nine months and maybe probably longer. We've just not paid enough attention to the boat. We've had some problems that have superseded our concerns about the boat, basically my health. Um, but that's all turned around now and I'm doing great. So I'm down here on the boat today because I have a lot of stuff that has to be done. I have two months and I have to have this boat ready for winter. So that's going to be a problem maybe. Right now um, I need some tarpaulins to cover the boat, certain sizes, the local stores don't have them. Um, so I'm going to have to get creative or just talk to the managers and see what their uh, inventory flow situation is on those products. But I have to have them because the ones that are on here now have been on there for two years and they need to be replaced before winter comes. Before we get a snow, I have to have these tarps all replaced. So that's a, that's a small concern. But uh, during the course of the last few months, the electricity went off on the pole outside, so we didn't know, had no AC power coming into the boat. It messed up the ventilation that we had going on, the dehumidifiers that were plugged in, that sort of thing. So we have a damp boat here that needs a lot of cleaning. Uh, we never quite finished the refit. That needs to be taken care of, not this summer, because there's not enough time left. But... Uh, it's going to be fun cleaning up the boat and getting it back in order again. Next summer, we'll be painting, I think. I think, I hope, that we'll be uh, hauling out and painting the outside of the boat. I'm going to try to get the boat out of the water before, uh, before winter hits and get the bottom done. Don't know if that's going to happen. It's not a life or death, death thing, but we should do it. So, I had a diver go down and inspect the bottom. And uh, he said it's fine. It's just got a little growth around the water line. I'd like to get that all taken care of. And also the bottom inspected. And a new coat of uh, my favorite anti-fouling paint, Trinidad Red. So, anyway, that's what's going on. Um, today's Friday. I have a uh, radio program starting in a couple of hours. Ah, three hours. Anyway, so uh, i got plenty of time for that. And uh, I uploaded a new video this morning, reading of the Petersburg Pilot. So I'll put a link to that at the end. I hope you'll all like, share, and subscribe to Cruising Leolea. We're going to get this channel moving again, I hope. And uh, there will be a lot more about the boat and about Southeast Alaska. And, of course, the Petersburg Pet Center. It's kind of an exciting thing especially if you love animals as much as we do. Okay, but I have to run. I have things to do. I have to run up to the hardware store, down to Piston and Rudder, talk to the manager, see if I can get those tarps, that sort of thing. And uh, I'll catch you later. Aloha no kako. Ahuyo. Aloha indeed to all of us until we meet again. It was worth us at dawn. Take care. With the cream of Gotta get down my hand and the western oil can under my bully for a chair. It's Aloha Friday.